Tonight, a family is mourning the loss of Danica Bergeson. The 33-year-old was found dead in her Hopkins apartment over the weekend in what police are investigating as a murder. Tonight, Lou Raguse has learned the man arrested was just released from jail after pleading guilty to abusing Bergeson. Lou? Julie, we usually don't report a suspect's name prior to charges being filed, but court records show Matthew Brenneman was ordered by a judge to stay away from Danica Bergeson and to stay away from her apartment. But police say that's where they found him, trying to ingest a potentially poisonous substance, and Danica dead. Danica Bergeson was known to her family as a smart, honest person. You know, she's had a huge smile, a really engaging. Danica graduated from the U of M with a degree in animal science. She also spent time as a medic in the U.S. Army, once named Soldier of the Cycle. Everything with her was always black or white. It just, she knew exactly what was right and wrong. She never broke the rules. She really had a hard time with that. But Danica's father, David, says recently she'd been struggling with an abusive boyfriend, a man named Matthew Brenneman. So I think she ended up with 17 stitches in her arm from a big slash, and then she had stitches in the back of her head from an assault. According to court documents, Brenneman was charged in April with assaulting Danica, striking and biting her, and telling police he was so intoxicated he didn't know what happened. Brenneman was released from jail the next day, then assaulted Danica again in May. The criminal complaint says he struck her, bit her, and choked her, saying he was going to kill her. In June, court records show Brenneman pleaded guilty in both cases, and as part of his plea deal, was released from jail pending his August sentencing. Eleven days later, Hopkins police found Danica dead in her apartment, with Brenneman there. He's arrested, but he's not been charged. We you know, often said uh, we would dread that this call, because we almost felt we knew it was coming at some point because it just it repeated itself over and over. Like so many other domestic abuse victims, Danica's family says she struggled to leave and often didn't want to report the abuse. That was the hard part of just not being able to find a safe place for her. Now they are hoping for justice. So why was Brenneman released when he pleaded guilty to those assault charges? Well, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office released a statement pointing out how difficult those cases are to prosecute and saying that even after securing the conviction, Brenneman only would have received probation at his August sentencing, and that's according to the Minnesota sentencing guidelines. Now, Brenneman, again, has not been charged in Danica's death, but he is back at the Hennepin County Jail. Julie. Just heartbreaking mm -hmm. and so maddening for those families. Absolutely. Thank you, Lou. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, there is help available. Call or text the Minnesota Day One Crisis Line. The numbers are there on your screen. They will connect with domestic violence experts and programs that are available in our state.